Hello everyone, I welcome you for a video lecture on computation of endpoint DFT. In this example, let x of n is equal to del of n in the first case and x of n is equal to del of n minus n naught. The task is to find the DFT. How do I find the DFT? To find DFT of any sequence, I have the formula. So what is that formula? So let me write the formula first. x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n w n to the power k into n. So this is the formula to find DFT of any sequence. Uh, first the task is x of n is equal to del of n. I will consider that and let me see what I am going to get. x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 in place of x of n I am going to get I am going to put del of n w n to the power k into n. So how do I simplify this further? To simplify this further uh, just expand this summation by putting n equal to 0 1 till n minus 1. First I will put n equal to 0. So if I put n equal to 0 I am going to get del of 0 w n to the power 0 which is 1 plus so I'll put uh, n equal to 1 half. I'm going to get del of 1 wn to the power k plus similarly let me put the last value which is del of n minus 1 wn to the power k in place of n I have now n minus 1. Is that fine? So this is how I get this expression. So what is the answer? What is the simplified uh, answer for this expression? For this I should have the concept of, I should know the concept of unit impulse signal. Impulse signal is the one which exists only at n equal to 0 and it is 0 everywhere else. So I said del of 0 must be equal to 1. Is that fine? This, this del of 0 is uh, equal to 1 because it exists only at n equal to 0. And this del of n, uh, del of 1 will be 0, del of n minus 1 will also be 0. It means all the other terms turn out to be 0 and I get only x of k is equal to 1 as the final answer. Is that okay? So now I will consider the second part of this numerical wherein x of n is equal to del of n minus n naught. Is that correct? So just me go up and check. Yes, it's right. Del of n minus n naught. How do I find this? Again, I'll make use of the formula of DFT. X of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n which is del of n minus n naught w n to the power k into n. So what is the answer I'm going to get here? To get the answer, again I need to expand this summation uh, by placing the value for n which is equal to 0, 1 till n minus 1. First let me put n equal to 0. If I put n equal to 0, I am going to get del of minus n naught uh, and here wn to the power k into n. Uh, I said n equal to 0 uh, which turns out to be 1. Plus let me put uh, n equal to 1 next del of 1 minus n naught wn to the power k into 1 plus similarly let me put n equal to n naught I'll consider one more case I'll put n equal to n naught if I do that I'm going to get here del of if I put n equal to n naught that is n naught minus n naught I'm going to get 0 here and wn to the power k into n naught is that fine plus the last term, last term is uh, wherein n takes n minus 1. So let me consider that del of n minus 1 minus n naught w n to the power k into n. n is capital N minus 1, the last term. So what is the answer? So again, uh, if I know the concept of uh, unit impulse signal very well, the impulse exists only at n equal to 0. Everywhere else it turns out to be 0. So this is del of minus n naught it turns out to be 0. This is del of uh, 1 minus n naught 
this also turns out to be 0. Here it is, del of 0, del of 0 is 1. This gets multiplied with wn to the power k into n naught. Is that okay? Uh, plus this term, del of n minus 1 minus n naught, this also turns out to be 0. So ultimately, I'll get only one term, which is x of k is equal to wn to the power k into n naught. So this is the final answer. I could write this or I can uh, substitute for wn. wn is a twiddle factor, which is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N into this gets multiplied with k into n naught. So this is what I get finally. Uh, this numerical has solved everything step by step. Hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them in the comment section. I will definitely answer those doubts. Uh, meanwhile, uh, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more interesting videos on digital signal processing. Thank you everyone for watching.